Now tonight, the plot in the case of John Matara, a man suspected of killing socialite Starlet Wahoo, continues to thicken. It is now turning out that Matara's violent extortion may date back as far as it must be date back as far as a, of more than a year ago, I beg your pardon. The latest is after a video clip emerged showing Matara in a commotion involving a client back in April last year. Our investigations unit in this, in this continuing probe speaks to one of these ladies, and for the first time, we can now learn that Matara has been a marked man in the world of sex workers for long. Here now is Brian Obuya with more. Just like many of her friends in her trade, she has also been afraid to speak because of the nature of their job. But today, Maureen speaks to us about the unraveling syndicate of John Matara, now set to face a murder trial. I encountered him last year in April. A friend of mine had notified me that she was going to have a male visitor that she met on a dating site at her place. And then... When he came around, he was nice at first to her. I even visited my friend uh, just to check up on her because we were neighbors. Then all of a sudden, after a few minutes or let's say an hour, I had some cry of help from my friend's house. And that's when we, we, were, we were trying to enter the house and it was locked from the inside. And it seemed like she couldn't get to the door. Maureen is talking about this day, sometime in April 2023. Service. Matara is spotted here in blue moments after engaging a service provider. It had to take border border operators to settle the issue. At the time, she says, Matara was found in possession of a rope and a tape, a similar one that was in the case of this lady and also the deceased Starlet Wahoo. One finger was put here, he has long fingernails, finger navy. So even right now, I don't, I don't take like solid, solid chapati nini nini. I take bit too soft in the terrain because he kitu in a car, he got fractured in a way. Ali finya kabisa and then a kabua raka. You know. So me, my paja nini nini, pasi, kisu kisu. I was being subjected to things so that I can give him password. Anakudung, anakuchoma na, what do you call it, iron? So that you can go steam or password. After you feel the pain, you decide to open the phone. He again does that for impersonal pain. He again does that for account pain. If you want a person to know, that's when he engages and sees how much he wants. Yeah. And I could do that. I could do that. In places, funny places, gosh. Maureen tells us that she encountered Matara's case for a second time on December 31st last year. He started beating her up while he had a knife on her neck and he was trying to like uh, ask her to call people for money. So John Matara has just been doing this like it's been a sequence and we have also been warning ourselves because we can, myself I can identify him. I have people that I can call here and there are so many. We, we all share the same, the same experience with him. The lady Maureen is referring to was beaten black and blue. Matara then, at knife point, held her hostage, asking the lady to call friends and family to raise some 5,000 shillings. She gave her a narrative. She had been arrested by police in possession of bang and that they needed 5,000 shillings bribe for her freedom. So, unapata, the more a victim holds back and askia anaiza kuwa judge ama aibike about the whole incident being known to people, this is what the criminals are depending on. That's why you see they don't even change numbers, they don't run away, and they keep communication with some of their victims, even wanting more money from them, you know. Because anajua, hui msichana amesha kuwa ashamed about it, na haezi ambia mtu. They have complained of police inaction in investigating matters reported at different police stations from Gong Road to Kahawa Wendani and Kahawa West to Kasarani. Personally, I feel like it should not matter whether or not you are outside doing hookup or whether or not you wanted to meet a man for love or something. What matters is that no one deserves to kill you or to assault you or to do some terrible, unspeakable things to you while you cannot cry to the government for help. And the, le the, the, the least you can get or the most you can get from the police is just judgment. Towards the end of last year, one of these ladies was strangled to death in an Airbnb in Roisambu. There has been no progress in that case reported at Kasarani police station. In November, a lady was murdered inside the Kilimani guest house along Kirinyaga Road. The suspect walked out of the guest house 
walked through the full glare of several CCTV cameras. Yet, police at Central Police Station are yet to make any progress on who killed Chebet. So what I can ask the police is that they should put more efforts to even investigate the slightest detail or the slightest report that does not look like it is serious just to avoid more people falling victims and probably picking up dead bodies on different locations around Kenya. There has been too much shame that comes with the job, stigmatization and seclusion from society that many women may not want to come out to report their cases. While many struggle with it, Starlet Wahoo was one of the high-end escorts who made their money this way. Matara lured them with an enticing English, with a British accent, told them a lot of good nothings on messages before making them victims, victims of a lot more and murder. He presented himself as a man loaded with lots of cash, traveling from here and there with ease. For example, listen to this. One of the messages to one of the ladies targeted. Hey, pretty. I really do love your beautiful and sexy self. What are you up to tomorrow? I just landed in Nairobi for the holiday season. And I was wondering if you and I could spend some time together before I leave for Mombasa soon. I'm offering 10K as a token of my appreciation for a hookup with you tomorrow in the course of this week. If interested, please send me your WhatsApp number and location. Thanks. And if you have time, we could leave for Mombasa together. Diani per se, Christmas is here, baby. Police will continue detaining Matara for a further 17 days as investigations pick pace. More women are flocking the industrial area police station to report their ordeals. Investigators are contemplating opening a separate file on fraud, conspiracy to defraud, obtaining via false pretense and causing grievous harm in Matara's name. Tomorrow, NTV's investigations unit tells you how Matara led a gang of three women who, together, could winked Nigerian clients in Roisambu, stole from them after beating them black and blue. Brian Obuya. NTV.